Welcome to our lecture online. Now we have a similar situation with the differences that the curvature is now pointing in the other direction. But in other words, it is convex relative to the object, which gives us a positive radius of curvature. We're still going to use the same equation. Notice I place the objects at the same location relative to the boundary at 15, 20, and 25 centimeters away on the side where the index of refraction is 1.5 and on this side the index of refraction is equal to 1. All right, let's find S prime in each of the three cases, see where the image will appear, and see how the image changes by changing the position of the object. Starting with the first object, we have uh, let's see here, n1 over s, that would be 1 over 15 plus 1 over 15. No, n1 is 1 1.5. 1 1.5 over 15 plus 1 over s prime is equal to n2 minus n1, that would be 1 point, no, that would just be 1 minus 1 1.5 divided by, in this case, it's going to be a positive 20 because it's a convex surface relative to the object. So solving for 1 over s prime, we have 1 over s prime is equal to, that's minus 0 0.5 over 20. Move that across, we get minus 1.5 over 15. We can simplify that to minus 0 0.5 over 20 minus 1 over 10 because 1 1.5 over 15 is the same as 1 over 10. Now it's easier to find the common denominator of 20, so 1 over s prime is equal to minus 0 0.5 over 20 minus 2 over 20, which is equal, oh, I said 20 and I wrote 10, there we go, which is minus 2.5 over 20 which means that s prime is equal to minus 20 over 2.5 which is equal to a minus 8 centimeters so that places the image at a distance of 8 centimeters away from the boundary yeah it puts it right about here so here's our first image image one based upon the position of object one so what happens to that image if we move the object to the right so let's try that so now we end up with 1.5 divided by 20, which is n1 over s, and plus 1 over s prime is equal to 1 minus 1.5 over 20. The right side will always remain the same. And so here we have 1 over s prime is equal to minus 0 0.5 over 20 minus 1.5 over 20. So now we have a common denominator of 20, we can add these together, 1 over s prime is equal to minus 2 over 20, which means that s prime is equal to 20 over 2, or minus, so it becomes a minus 10 centimeters. Again, minus means it's on the same side as the object. In this case, it is 10 centimeters from the boundary. So here is our image 2. And now let's try object distance of 25 centimeters and see what we get. So 1.5 divided by 25 plus 1 over s prime is equal to 1 minus 1.5 over positive 20. So this becomes 1 over s prime is equal to minus 0 0.5 over 20 minus 1.5 over 25. The common denominator here will be 100. So we have 1 over s prime is equal to minus 2.5 over 100 and minus 6 over 100, which is minus 8.5 over 100, which means that s prime is equal to minus 100 over 8.5. So 100 divided by 8.5 is equal to 11.76 or minus 11.76 centimeters. Notice that it keeps moving to the right, but not by very much. So here we have I3. So as the object distance moves a steady five centimeters at a time, the image distance moves a smaller distance each time. So it goes from minus eight to minus 10, which is a, a move of two centimeters, and then from minus 10 to minus 11.76, which is a move of less than 10 centimeters, two centimeters, which means, at least it appears to be, that as the object moves to the right at a steady increase, 
the distance that the image moves is smaller, smaller, smaller. So it looks like at some point the image will reach a maximum distance and then see what happens after that when the object keeps moving. So we'll have to explore that and we'll do that on the next video. We're going to move the object distance further to the right to see what happens to the image distance. And that's how it's done. And that's how we gain a better understanding of how to deal with refracting surfaces.